we do no pamphlets at all. The only thing you get to read is a step-by-step -step, and you only get to read it after you've seen me demonstrate it a few times. So again, we make it a fun thing. You and I in a room and as many family members as you want to bring, because a lot of them, they're excited about it, so they bring loved ones, we ones do, and we love to get everybody involved. We put masks on it. Basically, the first week of training is done in the hospital in the clinic environment because we're getting to know the patient. We don't know how they might turn. We want to make sure we have everything on hand. After the first week of training, we then move into the patient home, literally move into the patient home, and we rearrange. <laughs> we help patients to set up for success in their home. So the first week of training, I get to know you, tell me what are your expectations of my clinic, and now while we're doing this chatter, let me introduce your full volume to you love our guys because again um, them walking around with two liters of fluid in their tummy is an aberration you know ladies most of them they have had pregnancy so they know what it's like to walk around with a load so our guys when I put a two liter on so it's basically getting a bag the top bag has water in it and there is a, a second bag attached to that what we call the drain bag I connect it to the patient's tube that they have so I put the water in and then I say to my guys, um, I'm gonna leave that water in and I want you to do a few things. I want you to walk down to Tim's. I want you to go to the bathroom. And I say, stay near the wall, okay? And of course, they're like, oh, I'm fine. And then you watch them in the hallway and they're kind of wobbly, not all of them. But it's, like I said, it's a bit different for them. Some of them might tell you they feel pressure or, or might need to go to the bathroom because it's putting a bit of a pressure on my uh, bladder. So he, he or she needs to go to the bathroom or for number two, if for that matter. How do you feel? A little bit heavy. Do you feel heavy? Yeah, a little. A little bit, right? Yeah. But it's something they come back and they say, you know, some will come back and say, oh, that didn't feel anyway. I'm fine for that. So here I was telling you, so talk about building trust and giving hope. I told you, but I mean, I'm not telling them I told you so, but I told you you'd be fine with two liters of water. I mean, when you look at it, from the bag hanging there, it does look like a lot of fluid, but our cavity has that capacity to hold it. And like I say, the water will go anywhere you go. Like if I tilt to the side, the water's going my side. If I go to the back, it's gonna go to my back, right? It's just when you're standing or sitting, it's from your waist down. And two liters is not really a lot of water. The bigger the patient, then I might wanna put three liters in. But it's a quick in and out. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes for the fluid to go in, all the two liters to go into the belly when I no longer need it, so that's after my four or five hours, I no longer need it and I'm draining it out, it takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes. The entire thing, about 30 minutes to get the dirty water out and to get the clean water in, disconnect and I'm off again.